Hi, my name is Andre, and this is Learning to Read Manga in Japanese, A Practical Guide, Part 3. Let's start reading. So, congratulations if you follow the steps in my previous videos. In your hands should be your first Japanese manga, and in your mind should be a solid foundation of the Japanese language in order to get started reading it. So, what should you do when you start reading? Basically, just read until you encounter a word you don't know, look up the word, and just continue reading. And just do that until you're finished with a chapter or you're finished with a book. And that's the basic idea of it. As far as dictionary apps go, my favorite website for Japanese English dictionary is jisho.org. It's a very robust site with a lot of great functions. Another great site is Tangorin. As far as mobile apps go, my favorite mobile app is Takoboto. It also has a desktop app. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is basically a demo of reading through a page of manga. I'm going to be verbally processing everything, I'm going to be looking up words, and I'm going to show this all in real time so we can kind of get an idea of what kinds of things that I think about when I'm reading a page of manga in Japanese. Now, if you're a total beginner, keep in mind that I'm going to be going way faster than you probably will be. So, today I'm going to be reading from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, or Jojo no Kinyo na Bolken. In this chapter, the main characters, Josuke and Okuyasu, discover an Italian restaurant in their neighborhood. Okay, so it starts off with Okuyasu. He says, Oi, Josuke. So, hey, Josuke. Konna koku ni Italia ryori ten ga dekiteru ze. So, konna toko ni, konna is this kind of toko ni, tokoro, place, konna toko ni, in this kind of place, Italia ryori ten. Italia, Italian, ryori is cuisine, ten is shop, so Italian restaurant, ga dekiteru ze. So, dekiteru can mean to be able to do, I think in this case it means to build, so, konna toko ni, Italia ryori ten ga dekiteru ze. And ze is just a sentence. So, the whole sentence is, Konna toko ni, this kind of place, Italia ryori ten ga, uh, Italian restaurant ga dekiteru ze, was built. So he's kind of surprised, he's like, whoa, there is an Italian restaurant built here? Itsu no mani dekitanda. So, itsu no mani means when, but let's see how Jisho uh, defines it. So, type that in, itsu no mani, and yeah, they say when or at what point. So, itsu no mani dekitanda. So, when was this built? Okay, so in the next panel, Josuke is like, what? Dot dot dot. Uh, and then next, he says, Doko da yo? Where? And then Okuyasu replies, Doko de? De is used when, when quoting something. So he's basically saying, what do you mean, where? Kono saki yaku me toru da yo. Uh, kanban ni so kaite aru ze. Kono saki, just ahead of us, let's see how Jisho uh, defines saki. So Jisho defines Konosaki as beyond this point, from now on, after this. So it basically means just ahead of us. So Konosaki, just ahead of us, 100 meters. 100 meters. It's 100 meters ahead of us. Kanban ni so kaite aru ze. So kanban is sign. So in this case, so means in that way. So kaite aru ze. So there's no kanji here, but uh, the verb here is kaku, which means to write. So it's written on the signboard. Then, the next panel, Josuke says, Kono saki, just ahead of us. Kono saki wa reien da ze. Now, what is a reien? I don't know what a reien is, so let me type that into uh, Jisho. Reien means cemetery. So, Josuke is saying, Kono saki, reien da ze. Just ahead of us is a cemetery. Konna shoten gai kara hanareta toko ni mise dashite kyaku nante kun no ka yo. So, konna shotengai. Shotengai is, I believe, means a shopping arcade. Why don't we see what Jisho says? So, Jisho says, shotengai means shopping district or downtown area. So, konna shotengai kara hanareta toko ni. Hanareta. Hanareru means to be separate. Hanareta toko ni mise dashite. So, they put a restaurant out in this place that's separate from the downtown area. So he's like wondering, you know, why would they put a restaurant near a cemetery? Why would they put it so far away from 
all the other stores uh, in the shopping district. And then, kyaku nante kun no kayo. So, kyaku means customer, uh, kuru means to come. So, he's asking, will customers actually come? And yeah, that's basically how I'd go through a page of manga. Alright, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about making flashcards. But until then, have fun!